Okay then, so this afternoon's lesson is about creatures that have tails and creatures that don't have tails. So, a tail is our symbol. It's usually something that sticks out of the bottom of a creature. So I'm going to ask some questions about creatures. It could be an insect or it could be an animal. So I'm going to give you some examples and then I'm sure you're going to have a good time yourself. Okay, so here's we're going to say if, if a creature has a, we'll say yes, if they do have a tail. So it might be yes of tail, or we might have to say um, no, if no tail. So here's the first question. Do I have a tail? Does Kirsty have a tail? Does a person or a little boy or Kirsty? Does a person does a person have a tail? Can you see anything sticking out? Does a person have a tail? The answer is no, people do not have tails. Here is another one. Does a horse have a tail? A horse. Does a horse have a tail? Ooh, what's this? It's fluffy and it's at the back near their bottom? I think the answer is yes, a horse has a tail. Yes. Okay, last one on the video and then you'll have more afterwards yourself. This is a trickier one, you might not know it. Dun, dun, dun. Because some tails aren't very obvious. Does a does a rabbit have a tail? Does a rabbit have a tail? What can we see? Can we see anything on the symbol that might be a tail? Can we see anything on my little bug's bunny that might be a tail? I think this little fluffy thing means yes. The rabbit has a tail. Okay, so that's your challenge. You're going to be finding about animals and creatures that have tails. There's um, some printouts and you can do them by yourself. And we're also, you can watch the video. I think it will be Jungle Boogie. Okay.